Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today in gaming, Hell Let Loose got an insane update. Data miners have found a clue about Warzone's future content, Battlefield 3 is free to collect from Amazon Prime, and more. Hell Let Loose Update 8 just dropped, and oh boy is it a big one. It overhauls the Hurtgen map, adds transport vehicles, satchel charges, fortifications, the grease gun, a proper bullet penetration system, and basically like a billion other tweaks, fixes, and minor additions. On top of all that, the game now runs much better across the board, with some users reporting high frame rates on maps that previously ground their PCs to dust. The addition of transport vehicles is a huge deal because they haven't been available until now. Hell Let Loose's maps are designed with vehicles in mind. Without them, the game feels a bit more like a running simulator where you spend most of your time sprinting across open fields. It definitely hurt the flow of a match, especially in modes with linear objectives. Now that transport vehicles have been added, it seems like pacing has picked up for the better and players are getting into the action more consistently. While most of Hell Let Loose's updates are significant improvements to the game, I think the addition of transport vehicles is transformative. It feels a lot more like the actual vision of the game. Naturally, there's still a lot more content that I would like to see added, but it's certainly getting there. As for optimization and performance, well, if you stop playing Hell Let Loose because you couldn't get it to run well, I think now is definitely the time to try again. Many players on a variety of hardware are reporting improved FPS across the board. There's also been an overhaul to the game's graphical options. Low settings should look more consistent with other options. Cranking things to high also won't be quite as punishing as it was before. Overall, the developers have made some big gains. They could and are still doing more to improve frame rates, but it's very playable now. Also, the new sound effects add a nice level of immersion that the game kind of lacked before. Explosions aren't just more impactful. The new sounds have a lot of variety and nuance to them that really seems to sell the devastation. All the bullet sounds have also been reworked. Impacts and flybys are much more realistic and cleaner sounding. There's even new footstep sounds for different grass types. Update 8 is the final major update for Hell Let Loose in 2020. And while the name certainly fits the year, it's been a great one for this tactical World War II FPS. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in 2021. Data miners have uncovered a new hint about Warzone's next major update. Warzone and Black Ops Cold War are getting slapped together on the 10th, and it'll likely come in part as either a dramatic overhaul to Warzone's existing map or with a new map entirely. The data mined image shows an island from Black Ops 1's campaign called Rebirth Island. The image looks similar to Alcatraz's layout, which was a location added to Blackout and the Battle Royale mode for Black Ops 4. And why anyone is actually taking this image seriously is that the Rebirth Island's name in Russian, Vazrazdenia, I'll, I'll show the uh, the name on screen, and that fits with a redacted section of the official Season 1 announcement image. Of course, the big question is, will Rebirth Island be the new Warzone map or just an addition that's part of a wider overhaul? Based on the fact that Infinity Ward have spent so much time adding Easter eggs and content to Verdansk, I doubt it will go away anytime soon. Many players expect a Black Ops themed reskin of the map that's set in the 80s and reworks key locations. The addition of Rebirth Island as a new area fits that logic. Battlefield 3 is free for Amazon Prime subscribers. The online mega retailer's Prime Gaming service offers up free games every month. All you have to do is claim them. Battlefield 3 is the latest edition, and even if you don't pay for Prime, you can still nab it for free. Sign up for a 30-day Prime trial and claim the game. Then just make sure you turn Auto Renew off, and boom, a free game. Unfortunately for console players, the offer is only for Battlefield 3 on PC. As for actually playing Battlefield 3 these days, the player population is surprisingly strong. There's plenty of active servers in most regions, and it can basically run on a toaster these days, so even if you don't have the best PC, chances are it'll run just fine. Honestly, it's one of my favorite games in the entire franchise. Cyberpunk 2077 is only seven days away, and just when I thought the hype couldn't go higher, the developers released the trailer for the game's photo mode, and I'm sure it will blow the socks off anyone who likes taking screenshots. It features freeze time, the ability to dynamically pose and reposition character models, tons of camera controls, effects, and much more. With most games, these sorts of features have to be hacked in or enabled via third-party tools. It seems like a great starting point for people itching to showcase 
their in-game character, and I think it's safe to say the community will go wild with the photo mode. As for would-be leakers, CD Projekt Red have issued an official warning that any gameplay or leaks posted before Cyberpunk launches on the 10th will be taken down. 20 minutes of gameplay was recently streamed showing the game's beginning. While that leak didn't offer anything we hadn't seen before and wasn't that big of a deal all things considered, other leaks could potentially do a lot of harm. As for what spurred the warning, aside from this leak, Best Buy customers are apparently getting their collector's edition of the game early. Those come with a physical copy of the game that is most likely playable right now. The creator of Silent Hill, Kichiro Toyama, hopefully I'm saying that right, has left Sony. This is just days after new rumors broke about Silent Hill's resuming development under the direction of Hideo Kojima. Toyama co-founded a new studio called Boca, and based on the announcement video, it looks like they're working on a horror game. This information could be used to make an argument that those Silent Hill rumors were unfounded, but it could also be used to make an argument that they're also true. Regardless, it's certainly exciting to see one of the game's most influential talents going independent. If it works out as well for Toyama as it did for Kojima, we could be in for a really special launch title from Boca. The free next-gen upgrade for Madden 21 launched a day early on both the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Unfortunately, a bug is preventing the PlayStation 5 version from being playable online. This means players are stuck with the game's player versus AI modes until the issue is sorted out. EA have not given players a timeline for when this bug will be fixed, but hopefully it won't take too long. In our final story of the day, Sea of Thieves is ditching the monthly update system and launching seasons and a battle pass next year. The multiplayer pirate simulator has proven to be quite popular this year and got a ton of content that fleshed it out from a very bare bones experience to one with tons of depth and content to explore. New content will be delivered as seasonal updates every three months and season one starts in January. While this is a big change for Sea of Thieves, it's pretty in line with what other game developers are doing these days. Players almost expect quarterly content updates and battle passes at this point. Hopefully Sea of Thieves manages to keep a steady pace of fresh content rolling out with their new model. And that wraps it up for today in gaming. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're getting pumped for Cyberpunk 2077 as am I. Let me know if anybody actually did get early access with a collector's edition from Best Buy. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. If you want to see more like it in the future, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.